Well, a new report found many brands of protein powder contain lead and cadmium. Yeah, so today our Nine News medical expert, Dr. Pilotoli, is here with more. First of all, thank you for joining us. But obviously, any amount of lead is concerning. Tell us why you are so worried about this. I mean, this is really alarming because if you think about the number of us that use over-the-counter supplements, protein powders, and they're not FDA regulated. And what this company did is they actually ran several thousand tests on these protein powders, checking for everything from heavy metals to BPAs to other substances. Now, the good news is didn't have a lot of BPAs, but the fact that we found such high levels of these two heavy metals, which are carcinogenic, which are poisonous to our organs, and half the protein powders had levels above the acceptable limit, with about 20% of them actually having twice the acceptable limit. Really shocking to see this. Very like shocking, especially, yeah. I, would, I would think, if you asked 10 people in a room, have you ever ingested right. a protein shake? Right. You would probably get all Or if you have people. it in your pantry, yeah. Yes. Right now? So what happens when you ingest lead? Yeah, so you get toxic to a lot of metals. And the way that lead toxicity works is it happens slowly over time. So it's not food poisoning. You're not gonna have the lead and know that you've had it. It slowly builds up in your system and your organs and poisons them over time, can cause all kinds of problems, including developmental problems in children. And what concerns me is that even as physicians sometimes will tell our patients to supplement with protein if they don't get a high enough protein diet. Patients like you, Sam, who are vegan or vegetarian, sometimes they don't get a lot of sources of protein. So we, so, oh, add some protein to your diet, take some protein powders. But I really want to urge caution here because these protein powders can be rough on your kidneys too. They can bump your kidney function up. They're metabolized by your liver. And again, because they're not regulated, we don't know what's going in them. They can really be harmful. So are there alternatives? I mean, if you wanted to say, yes, I want the protein, I, I like taking it after I work out, for example, yeah. are there alternatives to Lead, putting lead in your system. There's That's not great not alternatives, but here's what you do. You start being smart about how you pick your protein powder. So you look at, surprisingly, organic versus non-organic. Organic was worse because it had more exposure. So, and if you look That's at the, you hear. the chocolate flavor, it was surprising because of the way that it was processed. If you look at the chocolate flavor, that flavoring itself actually adds contamination, lead contamination to the protein powder. So you want to try to pick a vanilla flavored. If mm -hmm. you're not restricted in terms of being vegan or vegetarian, then picking an egg-based or whey-based protein actually had less lead contamination than the plant-based proteins. Because if you think about a plant, what does it do? It sits in the soil. Soil. So if the soil is contaminated, it can pick up all of those. And then a lot of the packaging of these protein powders can also lead to contamination. So even though they're not regulated, you want to look at something called an NSF certification on it that tells you that it may potentially be less harmful. This makes me angry because so many people, you know, under the guise of it being healthy, ingest this. So what about cadmium? I don't even know what cadmium is. Am it, I pronouncing that right? It's a carcinogen and it's one of the heavy metals and you want to make sure that, again, you limit your exposure to this. And what's interesting, it's not just in our protein powders and what this, to me as a physician tells me, it's raised a spotlight on the fact that it's in all of our food. So if you look at dark chocolate, Nearly half of dark chocolates out there have more than the acceptable level of lead in terms of Proposition 65. Dr. Coley, yes. you, you know I eat my dark chocolate almost every night. <laughs> I know. It's good I, thing know. I don't like dark chocolate. <laughs> so are there different versions of this that we can feel confident and safe ingesting? So you just want to be careful about the sourcing. And then again, you want to be careful about the packaging. And so the more research you do, especially for somebody who has health problems and chronic health issues, or you have young children at home, it's really very important to get your facts right. And to me, I think this is a wake up call for the medical industry that we need to start thinking about foods and supplements a little bit more because this heavy metal kind of stuff around us is everywhere. And that could be one of the reasons that we're seeing more and more cancers in younger people. We're seeing more and more heart disease in younger people. Many of the other things that are happening. I feel like I learn something new every time we have a conversation. Like going home right now and being like, uh, I, I guess have the wrong protein powder yeah, here. We're gonna throw everything out. Yeah. Well, and if you're vegetarian, <laughs> a pea-based protein powder is better. So. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, but talk so to your there's doctor. There's another alternative. Yes. Yeah. Talk to your doctor if you're thinking about supplementing, whether it's with protein powder or anything like that, about the effects on your kidneys, as well as potential for heavy metal contamination. Well, Dr. Coley, we always appreciate you stopping by and providing all your expertise. And you can find more with Dr. Coley at 9news.com slash Dr. Coley. You can watch all of her segments right there.